All right, so I'm going to show you how to configure EIGRP or IP version 6 or IP version 6 version of EIGRP. So let's start with the routers. I have two routers here. It's router 1 and router 2. So fresh router, so I don't want to go to configuration dialog. So first thing I want to do is configure this router to have interfaces and everything working. Now, routers don't do routing in IP version 6 unless they have the unicast routing turn on, Google unicast thing turn on. So I do call, uh, enable, conf t, and now I want to do IPv6 unicast routing. That will activate these routers to actually do routing. This is required in order to do any routing. It could be static or dynamic routing. So you have to make sure you turn it on. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is configure interfaces. So I've got a bunch of machines connected, and you can see how they're connected. And you can see also different subnets, 2000, bad cafe. And so I'm going to start with the first interface, which is G0 slash 1. That's my, my LAN side. So int g0 slash 1. I'm going to sign in an IPv6 address. Address 2000 bad cafe 1. And this will be the 1. And all of them are going to be slash 64s because that's what we do with IPv6. I also want to assign a link local address. So I do IPv6 address and Link local addresses always start with FE80. Well, FE8. And then I want to pick this one as one. So all of my interfaces, the link local is going to be FE80 colon colon one for this router. Router two, they're all going to be FE80 colon colon two. So I can keep it straight. Okay. So now that is assigned, I just needed to activate my, activate my interface. So no shut down <clears throat> okay so now i should be able to communicate with the pc assuming the pc had an ip address which it doesn't okay next step is going to router 2 and assigning ip addresses here as well so if we do a no let's just assign the lan over here so enable Conf T, I went, want to turn on the global unicast routing thing. So I do IPv6 unicast routing and turn that on. And then I assign <coughs> the IP address to the LAN interface. G0 slash 1. IPv6 address 2000 bad. We got a three, excuse me, two slash sixty four, and then my IPv six address, my link logo. All right, and then no shut. Oops. All right, so now I have turned on both those. The only interface that I'm I have left to do is the interface between or the two interfaces between the two routers. So let's go ahead and configure those up. So if I do int g0 slash 0 and I do ipv6 address 2000 bad cafe and make this one 2 slash 64 and oops I spell that correctly okay and then do my link local ipv6 address to the fe80 colon colon 2 link local no shut down and then the other side right here that i didn't do earlier Int g0 slash 0 ipv6 address 2000 bad cafe 
two, and this is one slash 64. And then my link local IPv6, IP80 clone colon one, so this is router one, link Link local. All right. So now I have both of these addresses set. I activate this. And so at this point, I should be able to ping the other side. So this is the 2000 Bad Cafe 2 something that I want to try ping in. So I do do, because I'm still in configuration mode, ping 2000 Bad Cafe. Let's ping my own interface first, and that works. Now let's ping the other side, and that works. Okay, so now information is going across. Now, let's do a do show IPv6 route. If you look at this, all you can see is the, well, just the locally connected stuff. There is no routes coming across through EIGRP, so I want to configure EIGRP. So I will decide to use AS number 10, because that's a nice number. So exit out of here and do IPv6 router EIGRP and my AS number of 10. Now, EIGRP requires a router ID, and the router ID for both IP version 4 and IP version 6 is a 32 bit number. So I cannot use a 64 bit number. And if you have configured IP version 4's EIGRP, you know you have to have a router ID, and the router ID is automatically configured through either the router ID command, which is not automatic, or from a local loopback address or from an IP address. We don't have any local loopback or IP addresses that are IP version 4. All we have is IP version 6, so none of those will work. So I have to use the router ID command inside of here. So I do router ID. And I want to set the ID to be 1.1.1.1. Oops, EIGRP, EIGRP. Router ID. All right, so EIGRP router ID 1.1.1.1, and the other router I'll just do a 2.2.2.2. Now, inside of this routing protocol, I have to do a no shutdown, no shutdown, otherwise it doesn't activate, which can be confusing and frustrating. Also, I don't want all the broadcast messages being sent down to my LAN, so I want to deactivate that. So I'll do a passive interface and my LAN is G0 slash one. So I'll deactivate that. Okay. Now I should be able to, well, start running the protocol. That's really all I'm doing. I'm not really doing anything with the protocol, but it's running. So I go to my other router here and I need to configure this one as well. So I exit out of here, then do IPv6 router, EIGRP 10. And then inside of it, I need to do the same steps again. So I want to do a router EIGRP router ID. And this will be 2.2.2.2. I want to activate it. No shut down. And I want to make the interface going to the LAN passive. And you can see that's G0 slash 1. So passive interface G0 slash 1. Now at this point, you might start wondering, well, are we, are we getting routing information? The answer is no, we're not. We don't have any neighbor relationships set up. And the reason we don't is because none of our interfaces are participating in our EIGRP. So we do a do show IPv6 route. Once again, nothing showing but the locally connected interfaces. So I need to identify the interfaces that are part of EIGRP. And that's G0 slash 0 and G0 slash 1. Even though G0 slash 1 is a passive interface, it still needs to have its inf information sent across. So I do int G0 slash 0. And I do IPv6 
the 6 EIGRP and the AS number it's participating in. That adds it there. I'm going to do the next interface right here. So now they are both participating in the EIGRP communication. And the protocol right there. Now I pull the other one up. And in G0 slash 0. I do row IPv6 router, no, no router, um, EIGRP and the S number. And now you can see that it forms a a neighbor adjacency with router 2 and that it immediately sends information across. Now I go to the other interface and add this one as well. So I should be able to do a do show IPv6 route command and see all the information and you can see in here there is a route that has been learned through EIGRP. So the next step is to configure my end machine so they can communicate with each other. So I go to PC1 right here. So PC1, <clears throat> or PC0 I guess. Um, I'll go to the desktop, drop in the IP config. So I need to configure an IPv6 address. So it needs to be in 2000 bad, bad, Cafe one, and this one could be any IP address except for one, because that is taken by the router. So I'll make this one ten, and remember it's a uh, slash sixty four. So you got to put the sixty four over here. Then it has this link local address. Just leave it alone. It's fine. And then your default gateway. You can use either the IPv six address. I mean, either the um, the global address or you can use the link local. So it's best to use the link local. So FE80 colon colon 1 because that one should be able to stay consistent and not change. And that's it. You're now able to communicate. So go and close that. So I'll pull up a command prompt and I'll do a ping. Ping um, 2000 bad cafe three two two and it can paint all the way across which indicates things are working correctly okay now let's do the other side this machine needs to be up so I'm going to give it an IP address once again 2000 bad cafe three and this one's going to be number 10 and it's once again a slash 64 and my gateway is going to be fe80 colon colon two because that's what the router's interface is all right I close that and i pull up a command prompt once again i'm going to see if i can ping not just the other side but all the way to pc0 so ping 2000 and bad cafe colon colon or actually two one colon colon ten and i can ping all the way across so this is how you configure your eigrp for ip version 6 and how to configure ip addresses on the end machines so they can communicate all the way across